What's up everybody? Welcome to my first ever mail call. Uh, I know you guys have been sending in mail for the last seven years that I've been playing in the NBA and I read most of them but I've never done a video where I actually respond to them. So what I'm going to do is open some of the mail today and I'm going to go through them and kind of have a dialogue with you guys, have a conversation with you guys. The first one comes from Zach C. Tadlock Elementary School in Frisco, Texas. Spelled my name, Jeremy, J-E-R-M-Y, that's cute. Zach said, hi, my name is Zach. I am 10 and I'm one of your biggest fans. I love basketball and play every second of free time, but I still need help mostly on shooting far. Well, thanks, Zach. Um, definitely with shooting far. Most of the power comes from your legs, but like you said, you're only 10 years old, so don't worry too much. A lot of that will come over time. Just keep practicing, having fun. I think the fact that you're playing every chance you get already is the most important thing. Uh, yes. Luke and Levi Maloney sent me an extremely cute letter. There's drawings, there's jokes, there's everything on here, really. This is the one down here. Knock, knock, who's there? Brooke, Brooke who? Brooklyn, with a little seven, number seven jersey. I definitely appreciate that. Teclo sent me a very nice letter asking um, if their family could meet up with me right after the season. Unfortunately, I left literally the day after the season. I left for vacation. You know, I appreciate the fact that your dad is such a big fan. And uh, what I want to do is I, I'm going to send your dad a signed bobblehead. We have some right here. So I'm definitely going to send him one. Sorry I missed dinner, but you can look for that in the mail. Is this from Taiwan? Jimmy was really kind and sent uh, some mail all the way from Taiwan and in it, you know, there's a, a couple trading cards that I'm going to sign for him and his friends. And on top of that, um, <laughs> he went above and beyond to get me all this stamping. Is that what you call it? Stampage? Stamps. He got me all this postage to be able to mail it back to him and he also gave me five dollars and i really appreciate it take this five dollars donate it to one day's wages and, and support um you know and empower girls across the entire world to be able to get education so thanks for that jimmy clayton sent me an awesome letter and um one of his main questions is what do i like to do outside of basketball i love playing video games hanging out with friends i love food during the season, I probably eat like three times the average person because I'm burning so many calories. So when I go to restaurants, sometimes I order like three entrees or two entrees and two appetizers for myself. Clayton also asked, what's the biggest obstacle I've had to overcome? I'm not really sure if there's one specific obstacle. Maybe it was just um, feeling like I had to prove myself over and over and over again. And I felt like that process was draining um, because I felt like I was doing enough to be noticed but also I think that it's been really really important for me because you know Romans 8 28 talks about how God takes uh, you know the good and the bad and works it for our good uh, is this Alicia? there's a letter from I think Alicia Chen um, I can't really read it all the way but um, she came from Taiwan to New York and ended up not being able to see the game because I was hurt I just want to really say thank you I know several fans came internationally and to watch our games, and I obviously went through a lot of injuries this past season. So thank you to you and everybody else who really made the trip to, to fly internationally to come watch one of our Brooklyn Nets games. Also, I got a wedding invitation that I couldn't attend because in the middle of the season, but Karen Fung and Seen Joe, uh, just want to say congratulations. That is awesome that you guys got married, and sorry I couldn't make it, but want to give you guys a shout out. Hopefully marriage is going well. Lily sent me a really cool email and you know she teaches Chinese to students in New York and so um, basically you know I'm gonna use a little bit of Chinese to Lily. She should me she took an email she wanted me to again you need to so Whoops. She email so hello the last thing we have is from a fan named Clarissa in Ohio who sent this box and um, this is legitimately the first time I'm opening it. You're the bomb. <laughs> Clever. I like puns. 
So, I actually remember this fan now because she said that I gave her bracelets and I remember doing that and this is uh, her just sending me something to say thank you for the gifts that I gave her or really the bracelets um, and I'm really blown away. Um, you really didn't have to do that, uh, but I really, really appreciate it. We have a bunch of cool stuff. You rocked my socks off in Atlanta, a lot of puns, and it was her birthday. I remember that. Thank you for being so kind, Bars. I like that. And I think maybe the coolest, maybe the coolest part is, um, just give me this box and it says, whenever you need a little encouragement, just pick one. There's tons, like a hundred little envelopes in here. And each one has these different encouragement notes. And the fact that she took the time, she cut, individually cut every single one of these papers, glued the, the notes in there. That is ridiculously thoughtful. Like I, this had to take like hours and hours and hours, maybe even days. Um, so thank you so much for this. Uh, this one says, I watch over you and I listen for your prayers. First Peter 3.12. So I'm very thankful, um, Clarissa, that is amazing, and I hope, hope you had an awesome birthday. I will definitely keep this right on my kitchen counter, and when I need uh, some encouragement, I'm gonna dip into this box. So make sure you guys comment or share the video. We're gonna choose um, some random people uh, who comment, and we're gonna continue to sign and send out some more bobbleheads to people. Um, so hopefully you guys have fun and uh, enjoy my first mail call.